Welcome back to my channel. Today we're comparing Burridge and Hinsdale and attempting to answer the highly subjective question, which is the better place to live? Spoiler alert, Hinsdale is going to win this round, but I personally like Burridge better, so I'm actually not sure how that happened. But honestly, I can't tell you if Burridge or Hinsdale is a better place for you to live. That's a highly personal question. I'm just here to give you some more information about both places, highlight some of the great things Burridge and Hinsdale have to offer, and hopefully we'll have some fun along the way. So I'm Eric, owner and designated managing broker at Eric Anderson Homes, and in this video we'll compare food, schools, location, shopping, recreation, and of course the housing market and the real estate in Burridge and Hinsdale. Just a reminder to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on other awesome videos about Burridge, Hinsdale, and more. So first and most importantly, who has the better pizza? Because as everyone knows, the most important factor when deciding on where to live is the pizza. Burridge is the clear winner when it comes to pizza, thanks to Sticks and Stones in the Burridge Village Center. They serve some exceptional wood-fired Neapolitan pizza. The dough and ingredients are always fresh. They have a great lemon chicken soup, and the menu also includes salads, calzones, sandwiches, and a few options for kids. I like that it's a local independent place, and the decor is contemporary with a relaxed, casual vibe. And bonus, they serve the legendary plush horse ice cream from nearby Payless Park. In fact, the footage you're seeing is from my lunch today. I had to go there for, you know, research purposes. The only real downside to Sticks and Stones is they serve individual pizzas, so if you have six kids like me, that can get expensive in a hurry. I know they have a kid's menu, but still at eight bucks a pop, I'm looking at nearly $50 to feed my kids pizza. If I'm looking to buy pizza for my family, I'm going to Baldinelli Pizza in Hinsdale. It's another great local small business. They always use fresh ingredients and make a great thin crust pizza, and I can even get a 20-incher for only 23 bucks. Most pizza places will call a 14 or 16-inch pizza large. If you find an 18-inch pizza, you're doing really good, but Baldinelli's offers a 20-inch beast of a pizza, and it's a thing of beauty. But overall, I'm still giving this round to Sticks and Stones and Burridge because it's really hard to compete with high-quality Neapolitan pizza. Staying with the food theme, next up is Best Gluten-Free Bakery, and no question, this one goes to Sweet Alley's Gluten-Free Bakery in downtown Hinsdale. Now that's probably unfair, one, because Sweet Alley's is probably one of the best gluten-free bakeries anywhere, and two, <laughs> Burridge doesn't have a gluten-free bakery. Kirsten's Danish Bakery is near and dear to my heart, being a Dane myself, but this round is about gluten-free bakeries, and frankly, Sweet Alley's is so good, it's better than a lot of high-gluten bakeries. We've all had that really dense styrofoam-like substance that is typical when it comes to gluten-free products. And if that's what you're looking for, Sweet Alley's will be a major disappointment. Sweet Alley's has an extensive menu, including breads, cakes, coffee cakes, cupcakes, cookies, and they even have pizza crust, pasta, rice, and some savory options like chicken pot pie and quiches. Turning to schools, Burridge received an A-plus overall from Niche, and the rank was number 38 in the Chicago area. They rated 13 schools and all received an A or A-plus, except for two, which got a B-minus and C. So lower, but not terrible by any means. Hinsdale also received an A-plus overall for their schools, but Niche ranked them at number five in the Chicago area. Of the 28 schools they rated, nothing came in lower than an A-minus. So based on Niche's rankings, Hinsdale wins the point for schools. Next up, commuting. Accessibility to downtown Chicago is a big deal for many residents of Burridge and Hinsdale, so let's see how they compare. A commute from Burridge to Millennium Park is 21 miles and will run you about 30 minutes with limited traffic. Hinsdale to Millennium Park is about 25 miles and will take about 37 minutes for that same commute, so Burridge is actually a little closer and faster. But hold on, many commuters will take Metra, the commuter train, from suburbs to city and back again, and Hinsdale has three Metra stops in town, West Hinsdale, Hinsdale, and the Highlands Metra station. Burr Ridge doesn't have any Metra stops, though you can make it to the Willow Springs Metra station in eight minutes, which is only about three miles away. 
but overall I'm going to have to give the point to Hinsdale for this round since both are similarly close to the city, but Hinsdale crushes Burridge when it comes to train stops. The next thing we'll compare is shopping in Burridge versus Hinsdale. This one's tough. Most of Burridge shopping, dining, and recreation happens in the Burridge Village Center, which I love. It offers over 30 shops, restaurants, boutique stores, a music and dance studio, and more. It's always professionally landscaped and even has condominium residences if you'd like to live there. But Hinsdale has the world-class downtown Hinsdale Historic District, which has 73 buildings and a park. You'll see stunning, architecturally significant buildings in downtown Hinsdale that go back to the late 1880s and late Victorian and Queen Anne styles, which provide the perfect setting for you to walk around and enjoy all their downtown has to offer. So while I personally enjoy and spend more time at the Burridge Village Center than in downtown Hinsdale, Hinsdale wins this round for overall size, beauty, and historical significance. I feel like the score has gotten a little lopsided here. I gave Hinsdale the point for proximity to city, even though Burridge is closer and a shorter commute, and the schools and shopping are more comparable than the current score reflects, so Burridge is going to get an extra point right now for a lifetime athletic. Hinsdale is close to the awesome new lifetime in Oakbrook, but if Hinsdale wins location for having Metra, Burridge wins for having its own lifetime. Lifetime Burridge is a great place, and sometimes I'm there for two to three hours at a time. I'll usually start by going to one of their group fitness classes, and then I'll hang out in the sauna, hot tub, or steam room for a while, and then work in the cafe while enjoying a vegan PB&B smoothie. I live on those things, they're fantastic. Next, let's turn to the housing market. Hinsdale is known for their luxury homes, and that's reflected in the median sale price of homes in Hinsdale versus Burr Ridge. You will find larger, higher-end luxury homes in Hinsdale than you will in Burr Ridge. On the other hand, you'll pay for it. Burr Ridge offers more value by comparison, and you'll also notice that over the past three years, the Burr Ridge real estate market has seen better gains than Hinsdale. In 2020, Hinsdale property values actually decreased by a median of 2.7%, while Burridge added 3.3%. And while Hinsdale has had a very strong 2021 adding 7.5%, Burridge blew them away by adding 13.7%. I also did the wife test. I honestly thought she would say she liked Hinsdale better in a heartbeat. And while ultimately she went with Hinsdale, she was a little torn and struggled to answer the question. For her, the Burridge Village Center and area is a major plus, but she's partial to Hinsdale's homes and what she described as the overall neighborhood feel, which she liked better. So Hinsdale gets the point from my wife, because even though I like Burridge better, the secret to a happy marriage is knowing that your wife is always right. So there you have it. This is my video. I'm judge and jury, and I personally like Burridge better, but somehow still Hinsdale wins six to four. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos about Burridge and Hinsdale, and reach out anytime if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Burridge or Hinsdale, or relocating to the area from out of state. I'm Eric with Eric Anderson Homes, here to remove the headache from real estate and provide expert guidance for your next purchase or sale. Now before we wrap up, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the Burridge Village Center and downtown Hinsdale.